Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Today's flavor is salted caramel. It's by Donut Cafe that I get at Ollie's. Um, it's only going to be a high of 31 today, but it's only 20 now. So, ooh, it's cold out there. Well, once the cold weather came in, it came in. So, hopefully we'll get a few more warm days. I know it's not going to be in the 70s, but, you know, in the 40s would be good. But we'll see. The weather will do what it will do. So, I know there's a lot of theories out there that the weather, they're trying to control the weather, and I do know they're, they're working on that, especially in China. Um, they do a lot of different things in China. So, but anyway, um, there's that whole harp, H-A-R-P, I don't know what it stands for, but there's that experiment and all kinds of different weather experiments that humans are, are working on. And of course, we know cloud seeding is a real thing that they actually do. So, I don't know. I think some things just shouldn't be messed with. But, what do I know? I'm just, I'm just a lady in a house trying to stay warm. <laughs> anyway, get my coffee. I need a sip. I need a sip of coffee. So, it looks like it's going to be a clear day today. My daughter invited me over for dinner, which will be nice. Um, even though it's going to be cold, I'll just put on my scarf and my hat and venture over there. It's not far. So coffee's steaming again. And I'm going to use my homemade chocolate caramel creamer. And it's almost gone. So I'll make some more, but right now I have other creamer that I already have open. And I think in the meantime, I'm going to probably freeze some of the half and half. I don't know. Have, it, have any of you frozen half and half? I don't know if that ruins it or not. I guess I'll find out. Cheers! Yeah, that's good. I should put more of the creamer in there. It's almost gone. I'll make it like a latte. There, now I have a chocolate caramel latte. So I did order a um, frother. I haven't gotten it yet. And I have a, a stick frother that I like. But the frother that I ordered... Um, it's more like um, a cup with a little frother in it, and it'll heat up the foam. So that'll be nice for lattes and um, other beverages, and it also makes cold fo foam for in the summer for iced coffee. Yep, that will do nicely. So, okay, well, I don't know why my video has my coffee bar so far away. But anyway, I will meet you over there at the budget book. Okay, here I am back at the budget book. <clears throat> well, yesterday I did spend money. I put in a Walmart order. I ordered bird seed and couple of buckets for my mouse trap. Um, I ordered some chicken legs for Chloe. I'm going to boil those up for her. Um, and the other dogs too. And what else did I get? Some tea. I didn't get a lot. I spent $40. Oh, I got eggs. 
because she is eating eggs, so I bought extra eggs, and the other puppies love eggs, too, and I like eggs, so I bought some eggs. And my daughter's hens are not laying much. It's cold, and um, this time of the year, they, they just kind of really slow down on the eggs. And they're getting older, so anyway, I bought eggs. So, uh, yep, I uh, outdid myself this month with the Red X's. I spent 20 days and didn't spend 10 days, but most of this stuff wasn't real high spending days. You know, I didn't go out and buy a, a Cadillac or anything like that. Um, I did try and keep it on the low spend. And with uh, Black Friday, I got some good deals on things. So um, just trying to keep it real. It's not my mission to save up a million dollars now. It's my mission to just um, not get into debt, which I didn't accomplish all the way because I did same as cash for my generator. But like I said, that'll be paid for in January. So all in all, I did not do too bad on staying out of debt this year. And I'm going to continue to do that next year. Now, maybe in December, I don't know. I don't hold out much hope that I won't have a lot of red X's in December because it's the Christmas holiday and I want to make it nice. And I'll use up what I have but I'm sure there's also things that I will be buying uh, for gifts. And, you know, when you're online shopping, it's sometimes it's one for me and one for you. I don't know. Sometimes that happens. At least it happens to me. So when I really, really don't want to spend money, I just have to stay off, off of Amazon. And um, for Walmart... I usually only get food there. Uh, once in a while I'll get something else, but most of the time Walmart is just food. Costco, um, sometimes they have some really nice casual clothes, so I'll pick up a sweater or a top. Um, I try not to overdo it. But mostly it's dog food and dog treats. That's usually what I get at Costco. And, um, let's see, I haven't been to Dollar Tree in a while. Um, well, no, I take that back. I did go one day and picked up something for my mom, but I really didn't get much for myself. So, um, and then Mark's. So I haven't been to Ollie's in a while either, even though I did go one day this month. But those are the stores that I shop at. And uh, I, I don't go into other retail stores very often. And I'm thinking about getting Instacart for this coming up winter. That way I don't have to go into the stores. Uh, my neighbor said she got Instacart. I already told you this, but for those of you that didn't hear the story, and she, she was all proud of herself because she did all her all her Thanksgiving shopping uh, using Instacart. So, and I, I think it's only $100 a year. I'm not sure. But I know Walmart is $100 a year. So, but I'm definitely keeping Walmart. So we'll see. I'll see if I can find a deal on Instacart. Sometimes around the holidays, these shopping services have deals. Um, so I have to see. So anyway, that is my very red November. And, uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll do better in December. So, okay. Um, that's it for the budget book for today.
Well, my frother arrived. Looks nice. Very simple. I have some half and half in there. I don't know if that'll froth or not. I would think it would, but I'll find out. And no barking. No. But but there's another dog out there. Oh, look at the messy couch again. <laughs> she likes to get in there. Oh well, back to the frother. So I'm going to give this a try. I just have it at the minimum. It's got a maximum level there, but I'm only going to make one cup of coffee. So let's see. The lid just snaps on. Turn it on. And nothing happens. Well, let's try this. It's supposed to turn red. I guess I need to read the directions. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm cooking real chicken legs. Kind of grosses me out. They're for <coughs> Chloe, but she's not eating. And there she goes again. Okay, operator error. It helps if you plug it in. Let's try it again. Okay. Let's see. Now it's supposed to be making warm, dense foam. So we'll see. And you just let it run till it turns off. Okay, it's quiet, which is nice. So I'll be back when this is done. Okay, let's see. Ooh, look at that. Nice and thick. Very nice. And that is plenty for one cup. In fact, that's enough for two cups. All right, it's a winner. Okay, made myself a cup of coffee. Look at that. Sprinkled a little cocoa powder, cocoa sugar on top. Cheers. And it's holding up really well. Yummy. So that's a winner. And it's a sus tea. That's what it's called. Sus teas. I'm not affiliated with these people. I just went on Amazon and spent my own money. <laughs> Which I'm really good at doing. That's really good. I think I need a cookie. So these pecan meltaways from Aldi's. I spent my own money on that too. These are so good. They're, they're like the um, Russian tea cakes. And they have lots of pecans in there. So I'm going to have one. Mm hmm. Afternoon snack. 
I don't want to eat too much because I'm going to my daughter's for dinner. So I'll just have a couple of cookies and a coffee because it's already 1.30 and I'm going to go over at 5. These are so good. I could eat the whole thing myself. I'm on my second tin. Maybe before Christmas I'll buy another one. So I'm still holding up. Yeah, the hand frother is nice, but it just makes cold frothed milk. This one you can make hot, thick foam, you can make a thinner foam, you um, can heat up chocolate milk or milk. I don't know, it's got four functions. So, I like it. Hopefully it holds up. Um, let's see, I'm trying to see how many functions it has. Yeah, frothing and heating densely textured foam. It's for latte and macchiatos. Second press is for frothing and heating fluffy foam for cappuccinos. Third press is heating only for cafe latte. And the fourth press is frothing cold milk. So there you are. That's just a nice special treat in the afternoon. And sometimes I like a little something sweet in the afternoon. So I set up the mouse trap bucket this morning. The directions were terrible, but once you figured it out, it was easy to put together. So we'll see if I catch any more mice. I thought the problem was alleviated, and I'm not seeing a whole lot of activity everywhere. But now all of a sudden, it popped up again. So I wish I could figure out where they were coming in. I'm sure they're just trying to keep warm just like the rest of us here. But they can do it somewhere else. So, all right, I'm going to finish my latte and have another cookie, and I'll be back. All right, well, this is the bucket with the lid, and... It's a humane way to catch mice unless you put water in there and then they drown, of course, which is disgusting. So they climb up this ladder, they go there, and then when they go in there, it tips and they fall in. So in there, I've got white chocolate chips. They seem to really like those. And I put a few extras in there just because they're going bye-bye. I'll take it for another ride and let it loose in the metro parks. But we'll see if this works. I'm going to put another one like this in the garage. And I got those on Amazon, too. So they've been sitting around for a while, and I figured, well, I guess i got to put it back together. So that's that. Okay, well, that was a delicious cup of coffee and cookies. And I have to start thinking about maybe making some Christmas cookies this year. But I'm just going to use a mix, make it easy peasy. Um, I always like the specialty cookies that you can get at Walmart. They're like double layers and you know, they're really good. So I'm going to see if they have those again this year. And then I'll make a few um, 
mix cookies too. So I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to overdo anything this year, whether it's usually I have a whole spread of appetizers and then dinner and, you know, and every time I do that, a lot of people, a lot of the people are just too full with the appetizers and then uh, they're not real hungry for dinner. So I have to make it so I don't overdo it, not too much with the appetizers so that people are still hungry for my lasagna. And this year, I have a whole stack of um, Impossible Burgers that I need to use up. So I'm going to chop those up and use it for the meat part of the lasagna. And then I make my lasagna with cottage cheese and Parmesan cheese and um, also, I put uh, mozzarella cheese in there, and then I layer it up. I don't pre-cook the noodles. I put everything in. I do cook the meat, and then I mix the cheese, and I make the layers, and then I'm going to have some extra, some extra uh, sauce on the side, and uh, it'll be good. I've been making lasagna for Christmas for... Oh, a little bit now, and my family loves lasagna, so, and they don't complain that it's not, you know, real meat. So, that's what I'm doing this year. I was going to bring my Christmas tree up this, uh, today, but, um, I think I'm going to give the floor one more cleaning before I decide to bring that up and start my decorating. But now I have to get myself ready and uh, go to my daughter's for dinner. Oh, it is so cold out today. Ugh. I don't know. I have to really force myself to go out in the cold. But the snow that came down earlier is all gone, so um, it's not bad driving. And my daughter lives practically right around the corner from me, so it's fine. So, all right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to share, and thanks for watching.